everybody. So I kind of wanted to showcase with you today a little bit the, of the our mandolin, um, just to kind of give you an idea just how slick this guy is. Um, when you get your mandolin, it's actually going to come with a little guide that will actually show you all the different cuts, like the wavy cut, the waffle cut, um, the mm -hmm. crinkle cuts, to make hash browns and cubes and french fries, and then of course just the plain cut. Um, we have right here, you can see, this is the thickness, so when you adjust this guy here, you can actually watch the blade right now is in the lock position, so I don't have to worry about ever cutting myself, but I can make the thickness of my... Whatever it is I'm making, if you see that, you know, from, from fairly small to almost potato chips up to nice good sized chunks. And then um, this here is actually, let's turn this, um, where you would make like your fries and your, and your um, hash browns. So I'm going to leave that locked because tonight we're actually making fried potatoes for dinner. Um, we'll put this one back in lock position and instead of just doing the normal old straight cut I'm just going to do the wavy because that's kind of fun so I just pulled that up and I'm going to take my other blade out here Let's see this is the wavy cut blade so I'm just going to just stick this in you can see how it did here right here and then I'm just going to snap it in place and I'm good to go I'm going to go ahead and put my other blades over here and our mandolin has this nice guard. So this is actually going to protect your fingers. You're not ever going to have to worry about cutting yourself on that sharp, sharp blade. You're never going to want to do it without that um, guard because I've actually cut myself with this. And I will say it's incredibly sharp. You don't want to do it. Um, if for whatever reason, sometimes you have things like a carrot or a zucchini and they're a little bit longer, if you can't cut it in thirds to get it in, in that. Because you can see there's four little grippers there and sometimes that can be a little harder so if you are going to use it without your 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 guard I suggest going out to like a tractor supply or some sort of supply store like that and get um, gloves with Kevlar in them and those will protect your hands but I just want to show you just how easy it is to take like so let's we have this potato right here I'm gonna set it on here and some people will just try jamming it on there that's you don't have to do that all you do is you grab the sides of your guard and you push down that's it it's that easy and now it's got it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna adjust mine we tend to like ours on on a four so they're you know they're, they're kind of thicker um, I'll show you here in just one moment and this is seriously how easy this is just to make a plain old cut I'm gonna just keep going down so it's this is kind of tall so it's a little bit awkward at first but once you get going as you can see I have five potatoes here and I'm going to be done cutting these in absolute no time. And what you do want to do is you want to make sure that you have a little bit of pressure as you are going. Um, but the mandolin is literally going to do all the work for you. I mean, that's nothing. Got a little piece. Sometimes if that's a little too thick, just let it rest up against the other one. Don't touch it. Don't push it. But I just wanted to show you the thickness here. That's about the thickness that we like ours. So they're all crinkle cut there. And so I'm going to go on to my next one. Same thing. I'm just going to like get it on the on the little guys. And since that other piece is sitting right there, I'm just going to just keep going. And it cut it for me. And it just it is so easy to do carrots, um, tomatoes, onions, zucchini, pretty much anything that you want. You can make yourself some French fries. Oops, I'm kind of getting a little stuck here. Make yourself some french fries, some hash browns. You can get as fancy or not as fancy as you like. Well, to be honest, this is the first time I've used my crinkle cut. I always just typically do the boring, the same old boring cut all the time, but I thought tonight to make, you know, I am going to try something a little new tonight. So that was three potatoes, as you can see. Now, honestly, I don't know that I'm going to want five because I'm going to hold the camera up here for you to see. I have a lot of potatoes here. And there's just a family of three here. So honestly, I think I'm just going to go ahead and just, sorry about that. You probably see some things in the in there. But I think I'm just going to stick with that tonight because that's actually quite a bit of potatoes for the three of us. Um, 
if you have any questions on the mandolin, go ahead and message me. Um, I'm more than happy if you're looking for another cut, maybe another day I'll break out some hash browns or we'll make some french fries or something, maybe even, maybe tomorrow maybe we'll make some sweet potato fries.